From ancient royal breeds to wolf dogs, here are 12 of the rarest breeds on Earth. Number 12. The English Foxhound the English Foxhound is an old breed that was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1909. In 1995, there were only 35 Foxhounds registered with the AKC. Bred as hunting dogs, they were used in large packs for fox hunting. Known for their loyalty and gentleness, the English Foxhound is today considered a good companion for an active household. The Foxhound is a small dog that can weigh between 55 and 75 pounds. At one time, British hunters put down their dogs at the age of seven because it was believed the dogs lost their effectiveness as a hunter. Today, Foxhounds are retired at the age of seven and are often put up for adoption. Another interesting fact about these dogs involves their fur. If you have a dog allergy, this may be the dog for you. They are light shedders. Rubbing the dogs down with a damp cloth minimizes the shedding even more. Number 11. The Harrier The AKC first recognized the Harrier in 1885. This old hunting breed hails from England. They were bred to hunt in packs for rabbits and hare, hence their name, Harrier. The Harrier's appearance is so similar to beagles and foxhounds that some people mistake the dog for one of those breeds. Like with foxhounds, a weekly wipe down with a damp cloth minimizes shedding. Harriers are outgoing and friendly dogs who like an active lifestyle, and they're known for having a sense of humor and for being the class clown. Because of their independence and breeding, they need lots of training and exercise. It sounds strange that such a fun-loving breed would be considered rare, but when England outlawed hunting hares by chasing them, the demand for the dog dropped. Some enthusiasts are concerned the breed will go extinct in 10 to 15 years. Number 10. The Norwegian Lundehund Lundehund is Norwegian for puffin dog. This breed comes from the remote Lofoten Islands off the coast of Norway. They were bred to hunt puffins on steep vertical cliffs and have six toes on each foot and elongated rear foot pads. Like many hunting breeds, they are smart, energetic dogs. A good Lundehund could catch 30 puffins a night. Puffins nest in caves and these dogs developed the flexibility to be able to go in there and get them. Their heads can bend straight backwards until they touch their spines. By the 1900s, nets were being used to catch puffins instead, and need for the dogs declined. As with the Harrier, when the need declined, so did the breed. There are very few Lundehunds left in existence. Number 9. The American Foxhound The American Foxhound is leaner than its English cousin. It was bred in the United States to hunt foxes and other game. Like the English counterpart, they are bred to hunt in packs and can run for hours while giving chase. The breed was created by crossing French and English hounds in the 17th and 18th centuries. George Washington, in fact, owned American foxhounds and bred them. As fox hunting in a group declined, so did the breed, making them rare despite all of their good traits. If you have one, it could be related to George Washington's dogs. Number 8. The Otter Hound The large, stocky otter hound, which is slightly longer than it is tall, hails from Great Britain once again. Its body shape allows it to trot at a slow pace for long distances. It has a rough outer coat and an oily inner coat that protects it both from brambles and cold water. This strong athletic breed was bred to hunt otters, again ergo the name, and they even sport webbed feet. The otterhound's sense of smell allows the breed to track otters through running water and over all sorts of terrain. The otterhound's strong prey instinct gives it a single-minded intensity when on the hunt. Its temperament, though, is amiable and affectionate, making it a good family pet. But its ability to think on its feet and hunt alone makes for a rather stubborn dog. Not traditionally kept as a pet, the otterhound breed retains a lot of the qualities originally bred into it. Otter hunting reached its peak of popularity in the years preceding World War I. However, in 1978, England banned otter hunting because water pollution had already hurt the otter population. Two years later, Scotland also banned otter hunting. The packs were broken up and the dogs sent to private owners or mink hunting packs. Today, fewer than 800 otter hounds exist worldwide. Number 7. The Swedish Valhund Also known as Viking dogs, the Swedish Valhunds are athletic, obedient, agile, and excel at tracking and herding. The breed comes in numerous colors and tail lengths, from bobtail to a full curl tail. The Valhund is a very old Spitz-type breed and dates back over a thousand years to the time of the Vikings, nicknamed Viking dogs. Experts believe this breed descended from the chondrodystrophic breeds of the British Isles, which includes Skye Terriers and Welsh Corgis. 
Numerous up to the early 1900s, the Valhund breed declined between the First and Second World Wars. In 1942, a breeding program was put into place to save the Valhund, and in 1943, the Swedish Kennel Club officially recognized the breed. In the following year, the standard for Valhunds was updated and the breed became known as Vastgotas Pets, after the Swedish province where the revived breeding originated. Number 6. The Bedlington Terrier Mistaken for lambs, the Bedlington Terrier is known for its curly and pale-colored wool coat. Despite the fluffy appearance, this breed is athletic because they were bred for racing and catching vermin. The breed comes from northern England, which is home to many terrier breeds. No one is quite sure of the Bedlington's ancestry, but it may be related to the Dandy Dinmont, Kerry Blue, and soft-coated Wheaton Terriers. The first known as the Bedlington Terrier was called Ainsley's Piper and was born in 1825. Landowners and coal miners appreciated the breed for its hunting abilities, using them for rats, badgers, and other vermin. Their speed and agility naturally led them to be used in racing against whippets. In the Victorian era of dog portraiture, the Bedlington appears in many works of art from that period. The National Bedlington Terrier Club was formed in England in 1877. The American Kennel Club recognized the breed in 1886. Number 5. The Finnish Spitz The Bedlington may look like a lamb, but this breed resembles a fox. The agile and intelligent Finnish Spitz has erect ears, a dense coat, and a bushy tail. Their coat ranges in color from pale honey to deep auburn. Spitz-type dogs have existed for several thousand years. Their development depended on their environment and needs of the local people. The Finnish Spitz is Finland's national dog and was bred to hunt game birds, squirrel, and even large game such as elk and bear. In the 19th century, Finnish people began crossing this breed with other breeds. By 1880, very few examples examples of the original dog remained. Two hunters from Helsinki decided to revive the breed, bringing it back to its roots. This culminated in the breed being recognized by the Finnish Kennel Club in 1892. Number 4. The Catahoula Leopard Dog the Catahoula Leopard Dog is a striking, multicolored dog that originated in the United States, specifically Louisiana. Its name comes from the Catahoula Parish in Louisiana, where it was first bred. The Catahoula was created to deal with the problem of wild hogs overrunning the state. They are also called Catahoula Hog Dogs and Catahoula Curs. Theories vary on the origins, but many say locals bred their herding dogs with dogs belonging to local Native Americans. This tough, savvy dog may also be descended from mastiffs, sighthounds, bucerons, and red wolves. An interesting feature of the dogs is their webbed feet. Some webbing is common in dogs, but in Catahoulas, the webbing extends further on the toes than normal. This allows the dogs to run through the soggy and boggy Louisiana bayous and marshlands. In 1979, the breed was named the State Dog of Louisiana and was recognized by the United Kennel Club in 1995. Their Louisiana origins and obscurity makes them a rare breed. However, in Canada, they are gaining a reputation for making excellent sled dogs. Number 3. The Moody Closely related to the Puli, the Moody is a Hungarian herding dog with a long, corded coat. The Moody's coat is also thick and curly, but nowhere near as corded as the Puli. The separation of Moody from Puli occurred in the 1930s as shepherding was mostly replaced by farming. In fact, although the Moody is quite rare, its popularity is rising while the Puli's numbers are dwindling. The Moody have a strong herding instinct and a high energy level. They love outdoor activity and wide open spaces. Their origins are not known as they were discovered as a breed in the 1930s. At that time, they were known in Hungary as the driver dog. It's possible the Moody descends from a cross between Spitz dogs and herding dogs. The breed nearly disappeared when many were killed in World War II. The breed was rebuilt from the survivors. Number 2. The Azawak the Azawak originated in the Sahara Desert from the Azawak Valley. Mostly the wandering Tuareg people use them for hunting gazelles and other animals native to that region. They also make good guard dogs and valued companions. Little else is known about their ancestry. Their agility comes from their slender, athletic build, which allows them to move quickly and change direction suddenly. They are sight hounds, which means they use their eyes to hunt. They love to chase anything that moves, from bikes to running children. However, they are shy around humans they don't know and aren't common outside the Sahara. Their lack of popularity outside of the desert, however, isn't only because of their shy, standoffish nature. Being bred in a hot, dry climate makes them intolerant to cold weather. Their love of chasing anything in motion can also cause problems. The breed first came to the United States in the 1980s. 
The United Kennel Club recognized the Azawak in 1993. The breed is not recognized by the American Kennel Club, but has been part of the AKC's foundation stock service since 1997. Number 1. The Thai Ridgeback Originating from Thailand, the Thai Ridgeback came to the United States in 1994. Only about a thousand of them exist outside of Thailand, and only about a hundred are in the U.S. The Ridgeback was originally bred as the guard dog and hunter. In Thailand, they are prized for their loyalty. Their name comes from the ridge of fur that grows in the opposite direction down their backs. They are one of only three breeds with this feature. Their lack of popularity outside of Thailand may come from their ferociously protective and territorial nature. They don't get along well with other dogs unless properly trained. They can also be intimidating because of their muscular build. Their warm home climate means they don't do well in cold weather, much like the Azawak. The first record of the Thai Ridgeback was more than 350 years ago in Thailand, but enthusiasts believe the breed is far older. One theory suggests the Ridgeback descends from the now extinct Hottentot. Do you own any of these dogs? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!